Liberal leader Justin Trudeau took questions about cannabis legalization while speaking in Quebec City yesterday. While hinting at new policy details, Trudeau clearly doesn't want legalization to be a focus of the election and said the economy will continue to take precedence. So despite his commitment to legalization, Trudeau continues to undersell his party's cannabis policy and its economic benefits. When asked about cannabis distribution under a legal market, Trudeau reiterated that his priority is keeping the plant away from kids. Quote, My focus is on making it more difficult for young people to access it. And at this point, I don't think that corner stores necessarily are rigorous enough in checking ID to make me comfortable with that as an option. But we are looking at ways to do it right. So cannabis wouldn't be sold at convenience stores like tobacco, but probably at dedicated dispensaries. Still, Trudeau didn't mention whether people would be legally permitted to grow their own plants. At the campaign event, Trudeau also repeated that the Liberals are committed to legalizing cannabis immediately, but said any plans for the distribution and sale of cannabis would have to involve the provinces. However, during an interview with FM 93 Quebec earlier in the day, the Liberal leader said the industry wouldn't necessarily be run by a government monopoly, like alcohol sales in Ontario. Despite Trudeau's commitment to positive cannabis law reform, he continues to treat legalization as a minor issue. Quote, We will continue to answer questions on this, but the policies we're putting forward are really focused on how we're going to grow the economy and give the kind of future to Canadians that they deserve. While Trudeau and the Liberals claim to understand the benefits of legalization for children and society generally, they're quick to dismiss the policy's economic benefits, a policy that would bring an entire industry into the mainstream. For example, about 10,000 jobs were created in Colorado alone during the first year of legalization, an effect that could be mirrored in Canada. Moreover, according to a report by the BC Liberal Party, cannabis sales could generate more than $4 billion every year. In taxes, U.S. states with legal cannabis are bringing in tens of millions of dollars annually. Additionally, legal cannabis would increase tourism, an industry that has been on decline, save money on enforcement, save cannabis consumers from receiving jail time and criminal records, which can harm their chances at employment, and help end the stigmatization associated with using a drug that is scientifically proven to be safer than alcohol and tobacco. Even as the parties continue to talk about improving the economy and creating jobs, the Liberals are sitting on a policy that would do just that. Instead of showing Canadians how cannabis legalization is superior to the NDP's policy of decriminalization, the Liberals try to bury their stance only bringing it up when asked. If Trudeau and the Liberals believe that legalization is the best option, why not take some time to talk about how they would implement it? Considering this is the country's longest election since 1872, there should be enough time to discuss a policy supported by a majority of Canadians.